The Mini Bernadoodle, a giant and miniature pup combined. The Mini Bernadoodle is a first-generation cross with one Bernese Mountain Dog parent and one miniature poodle parent. This unique mix is known for being an intelligent, strong and social dog. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. Breed at a glance. Popularity descending. Purpose, companion dog. Weight, anywhere between 20 and 100 pounds. Temperament, likely to be smart, strong, and people lovers. Since this hybrid pup doesn't qualify for any pedigree breed registry, we don't know exactly how many are born each year or are already settled into homes. But, it's plain to see that interest in this cuddly combination is rising fast. Mini Bernadoodle Breed Review Contents History and Original Purpose of the Mini Bernadoodle Are crossbreed dogs good pets? Fun facts about the Mini Bernadoodle Mini Bernadoodle Appearance Mini Bernadoodle Temperament Training and exercising your Mini Bernadoodle Mini Bernadoodle Health Do Mini Bernadoodle make good family pets? Rescuing a Mini Bernadoodle Finding a Mini Bernadoodle Puppy We've got a lot to cover, let's get started. History and Original Purpose of the Mini Bernadoodle while the huge Bernese Mountain Dog and the Dainty Poodle seem like an odd mix, the popularity of each breed suggests it was only a matter of time before they were intentionally crossbred. The Poodle, including all size variants, toy, miniature, and standard, was the AKC's 7th most popular dog breed in 2018. While the Bernese Mountain Dog seems to lag behind as the AKC's 22nd most popular breed in 2018, it's within the top 15% of the AKC's 193 recognized breeds and it's been gaining popularity rapidly. The Bernese Mountain Dog rose from 32nd to 22nd in just four years. Like the Bernese Mountain Dog, mixed breeds are also gaining in popularity. But that doesn't mean these so-called designer dogs don't have their critics. Are crossbreed dogs good pets? More and more dog owners are turning away from pedigree dogs in favor of designer crossbreeds or the humble mutt. But does it matter what you choose? Pedigree dog fans love the reliability of purebred dogs, when you choose a pedigree pup, you know what to expect from their appearance and their temperament. What to expect from crossbreeds? Crossbreed dogs can inherit traits from both of their parents in any combination, for better or for worse. A mini Bernadoodle might be a poodle in a Bernese Mountain Dog's body or the other way around. They might get a mix of behavioral traits from both parents. There can be a lot of variation within a litter and from litter to litter by the same parents. This is exciting for some people but undesirable for others. Crossbreeding for health. Most modern pedigree dogs were developed from just a few dogs. Even now, maintaining a pedigree breeding line means deliberately limiting the gene pool of future generations. This can cause unwanted genetic traits, such as hereditary illnesses, to become fixed in large swathes of the population. Crossbreeding expands a puppy's genetic inheritance, which can make them healthier. This phenomenon is called hybrid vigor. Fun facts about the mini Bernadoodle. Before we apply this science to the mini Bernadoodle, Let's look at some fun facts about him first. Hundreds of years before they made it, Bernese Mountain Dogs and Poodles were European neighbors. Poodles started their canine career as duck hunters in 16th century Germany. While Bernese Mountain Dogs were developed as farm dogs in Switzerland at the turn of the 20th century. Today, their hybrid offspring enjoy the most popularity in the USA and Canada. Owing to their difference in size, the Bernese Mountain Dog is always the mother to a litter of mini Bernadoodle puppies. That's because it would be dangerous for a female miniature poodle to carry such big pups. Since the mini Bernadoodle has gained in popularity, we've also begun to see a rise in the popularity of the micro Bernadoodle. The micro Bernadoodle is usually a second generation hybrid between a mini Bernadoodle and a toy poodle. Mini Bernadoodle Appearance The mighty Bernese Mountain Dog has a distinctive, thick tricolor coat. The lithe poodle's dense and curly coat comes in a kaleidoscope of colors. What happens when these different coats collide? Mini Bernadoodle puppies come in a wide variety of color combinations. Their coats are often thick and vary widely in degree of curliness. There is no one way to describe the appearance of the Mini Bernadoodle because there is such wide variation among the crossbreed. How big do Mini Bernadoodles get? Miniature poodles must be between 10 and 15 inches tall. Any poodle taller than that is a standard poodle and any shorter are a toy poodle. 
Bernese mountain dogs, on the other hand, are much taller. Males measure between 25 and 28 inches tall. Females measure between 23 and 26 inches. Most mini Bernadoodles fall close to the middle of that range, around 18 to 22 inches. Some outliers, smaller and larger, can be expected. While a mini Bernadoodle that falls at either extreme would be rather rare. How much do mini Bernadoodles weigh? Miniature poodles typically weigh between 15 and 17 pounds. Male Bernese Mountain Dogs can weigh from 85 to 110 pounds, while females weigh between 79 and 110 pounds. A mini Bernadoodle could grow to anywhere in that range. Most will end up near the middle, between 25 and 50 pounds. Females may be smaller than males. Mini Bernadoodle Temperament Despite their physical differences, the Bernese Mountain Dog and Miniature Poodle have similar temperaments, making Mini Bernadoodle's personalities reasonably predictable. Both dogs are strong and smart, a proud legacy of their working roots. Bernese Mountain Dogs love their family, but they are sometimes shy of new people. Miniature Poodles are athletic and very quick learners. Stranger Wariness They also love their people and are keen to please, but, they are also inclined to treat strangers in a standoffish way. Miniature Bernadoodles are loyal and intelligent like their parents. They're likely to be devoted and calm around their immediate family. It's not uncommon for mini Bernadoodles to be a bit shy when meeting new people, but they are rarely aggressive. Training and caring for your mini Bernadoodle. Early socialization is important to prevent the shyness just mentioned. Your mini Bernadoodle needs to have as many positive experiences as possible with people, places and things while they are a puppy. This includes things like car trips and being around the washing machine while it's running. If your young mini Bernadoodle learns that staying calm around strangers is rewarded, they will remain relaxed and confident as adults. Training Guides These training guides will help you get started on the right track together. 12 Great Places to Socialize Your Puppy Reinforcement and Dog Training 9 Ways to Have a Succusful Dog Training Session In your first weeks together you'll also want to get a handle on potty training and crate training, if you plan to use a crate. Exercise Requirements As your dog gets older, he'll be ready for more trips and adventures with you. Your full-grown mini Bernadoodle will need at least an hour of exercise every day. Since his parents were both bred to work closely alongside humans, your mini Bernadoodle will also have a greater sense of well-being if he has jobs to do. Look for working dog classes and trials in your area to fulfill this need. Overheating Issues When your mini Bernadoodle is exercising, bear in mind their long dense coat can cause them to overheat. It kept their ancestors warm up in the mountains and in cold water, but it can be too much in warmer locations. In hot weather, find activities to do in the shade. The good news is, once your mini Bernadoodle has exercised and shown off their intelligence, they're generally happy to relax at home. Mini Bernadoodle Health Healthy puppies come from healthy parents. So, the surefire way to get a healthy puppy is to insist on getting them from a breeder who tests the health of their breeding dogs. Most health problems for mini Bernadoodles are likely to be the health problem of their parents. Let's take a look at the most common ailments of Bernese Mountain Dogs and Miniature Poodles. Hip and Elbow Dysplasia Joint dysplasia is abnormal bone development of a joint. It can lead to painful and crippling arthritis. Approximately 1 in 8 miniature poodles and Bernese Mountain Dogs have hip dysplasia, and a further 1 in 5 burners also have elbow dysplasia. Since hip and elbow dysplasia are hereditary conditions, both breeds should have their joints assessed by a vet before they are used for breeding. In Bernese Mountain Dogs with elbow dysplasia, the severity of the condition isn't correlated to the risk of passing it on. So no Bernese Mountain Dog with any degree of elbow dysplasia should ever be bred. Patella Luxation Luxating patellas are knees that slip out of their sockets. Around 4% of miniature poodles and 3% of burners are affected. This hereditary condition is caused by several faulty genes. If both a miniature poodle and a Bernese Mountain Dog have luxating patellas, their puppies are more likely to inherit the condition too. Progressive Retinal Atrophy PRA. PRA is a hereditary degenerative eye disease that eventually leads to blindness. It is relatively uncommon among Bernese Mountain Dogs, but between a quarter and a third of miniature poodles are carriers of the disease. Luckily there is a DNA test to identify carriers, and a good breeder can demonstrate that they haven't mated two carrier dogs together. Eye Conditions Both breeds are vulnerable to further eye diseases including cataracts and eyelashes that turn inwards, dystichiasis. Responsible breeders have their breeding dogs checked by a specialist veterinary ophthalmologist who issues a certificate of good eye health. Bloat 
Bernese Mountain Dogs and Poodles are both vulnerable to gastric dilatation volvulus, commonly known as bloat. When dogs get bloat, their stomach twists back on itself. This is a serious and life-threatening condition that progresses rapidly. The only course of action to save their life is immediate emergency surgery. Bloat is often a result of gulping food too fast. One of the easiest ways to protect your miniature Bernadoodle is by using a slow feeder bowl. Another is to feed two smaller meals rather than just one large meal per day. Heart Conditions The Canine Health Information Center, which promotes healthy dog breeding to reduce genetic disease, also recommends that Bernese Mountain Dogs are screened for heart disease before they produce offspring. How long do mini Bernadoodles live? Bernese Mountain Dogs are a notoriously short-lived breed. Only 85% make it to their fifth birthday, and only 30% reach the age of 10. Their average lifespan is only a little over 7 years. Poodles live longer. 10 years is the minimum and some reach 18. The average miniature poodle enjoys 12 to 15 years of life. A mini Bernadoodle will probably live between 7 and 15 years, perhaps averaging 10 or 11. Whether you see this is as extending the lifespan of a Bernese Mountain Dog or compromising the lifespan of a miniature poodle is a personal matter. Do mini Bernadoodles make good family pets? Bernese Mountain Dogs and Miniature Poodles are both people-loving dogs. They share a reputation for being placid and patient with children. However, some miniature poodles are less comfortable with the attention of tiny hands and eyes. If you have young children, look for a litter of mini Bernadoodle puppies born in a family home and experience with young children from an early age. Best of all, try to meet their dad as well as their mom, and make sure that both parents interact calmly and happily with children. Like their parents, Mini Bernadoodles don't like to be left alone for long periods. A household where there's usually someone at home for most of the day suits them best. Do Mini Bernadoodles shed? One of the primary reasons poodle mixes are so popular is the poodle's coat. The poodle has a dense curly, non-shedding coat that needs to be trimmed every few weeks to keep it short or brushed daily to prevent matting. Bernese Mountain Dogs, on the other hand, shed their wavy double coat heavily especially in summer and fall. Miniature Bernadoodles have a coat that falls somewhere in between, varying from wavy to curly. Only time will tell whether your mini Bernadoodle sheds a little, a lot or not at all. You'll also need to wait to find out how often they need their coat trimmed as an adult. This varies even between dogs in the same litter, so don't let a breeder's experience with previous litters influence you. Are mini Bernadoodles hypoallergenic? There's a persistent myth that the poodle's non-shedding coat makes them hypoallergenic. Unfortunately, proteins in dander and saliva, not pet hair, are what cause allergic reactions, so no dog breed is truly hypoallergenic. However, it is also true that some people with allergies do manage to find canine pals they can live with harmoniously. It's a special and unpredictable chemistry that immunologists are only starting to understand. If you have allergies, and you want to find out if a mini Bernadoodle triggers them, ask to visit a breeder and spend some time with their dogs. Rescuing a mini Bernadoodle Adopting a dog is a great opportunity to give an unlucky pup a second start in life. However, since mini Bernadoodles are highly sought after at the moment and command impressive prices, it's unusual for them to then end up in rescue shelters. That's not to say it doesn't happen. Because of the myth that miniature Bernadoodles are hypoallergenic, they are sometimes forfeited or abandoned when their owner has an allergic reaction. Talk to your local shelter or rescue about the kind of dog you're hoping to find and why. Be patient and prepared to act quickly if the right dog comes in. Initiatives like the Shelter Pet Project endorsed by the Humane Society can help you find mini Bernadoodles looking for forever homes near you. Finding a mini Bernadoodle puppy. The alternative to rescuing a mini Bernadoodle is purchasing a puppy. Our puppy search guide will help you every step of the way. There are mini Bernadoodle breeders across the country. Many have sophisticated and informative websites. These are modern dogs being bred and sold in a thoroughly modern way. Choosing a mini Bernadoodle breeder. Mini Bernadoodle puppies are in high demand and often sold for high prices. Unfortunately, that means that unscrupulous people with little interest in animal welfare also try to cash in on their popularity. These people run puppy mills, treating female dogs as breeding machines and turning out sickly puppies. Our article on how to avoid a puppy mill will help you recognize them and steer clear. Finding a responsible breeder is an important first step in finding your mini Bernadoodle puppy. How to find responsible breeders? Responsible breeders will answer all of your questions honestly, including any about weaknesses or health problems found in the crossbreed. They'll also be happy to discuss what they've done to avoid passing those on to the next generation. 
When you meet a breeder, ask what health checks were carried out on the parents before they made it. A good breeder will have documents to confirm the results of every health check. You'll also want to see where the puppy and its parents live and meet them. Observe how they interact with the breeder. They should be comfortable and happy. The breeder will probably also have questions for you. Responsible breeders want to know their puppies are going to good homes. This video will help you find a healthy puppy. Pros and cons of getting a mini Bernadoodle. Still undecided about a mini Bernadoodle? To help you decide, here's a summary of what we've covered so far. Cons, this dog might not live long. The Bernese Mountain Dog, while easy to love, is not blessed with great health or a long life expectancy. If your mini Bernadoodle takes after their burn parent, you could have less than a decade together. And that time could bring some hefty vet bills. This is even more heartbreaking if your shy mini Bernadoodle takes a long time to find her confidence. After an extended period of socialization and patient training, your dog has less time left to enjoy it. If you're thinking of this dog because someone in your household has allergies, we've also discussed that poodle mixes are not hypoallergenic after all. Pros, they are smart, loving and family-centric. This hybrid pup has his roots in two honorable working breeds. He's going to enjoy his role in your family and devote himself to keeping you company. If you've been considering a Bernese Mountain Dog or another giant breed before now, then, choosing a crossbreed instead is likely to give you more years together. What other breeds might you also consider? Similar breeds. If a miniature Bernadoodle is on your canine shortlist, then maybe some of these other breeds should be too. Standard Bernadoodle. Labernese. Labradoodle. Bernese Mountain Dog Golden Retriever Mix. Piradoodle. Mastidoodle. Pocket Pitbull. Mini Labradoodle. Miniature Husky. Have you found another alternative you think should be on our list? If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching.